Hello everyone and welcome back to another Starfield console mod video for Xbox. This is part 5 of the series and so far we've covered some great mods so check out the previous videos if you're looking for some ideas on what to install in the game. We have 10 more to go over in this one but guys there are just so many armor mods and Star Wars mods that I decided to dedicate this video to specifically those things because I just can't keep up with the amount of them. So with that being said the video is simply armors and Star Wars related stuff as I'm falling behind when showing just a variety of different mods. One quick note some of the Star Wars mods so far have been broken. The one that's called Star Wars Armors and it's just got five or six different armor sets in it I couldn't get it to work so let me know in the comments if you've had any issues with that also the Ahsoka armor as well I couldn't get that to work either so there are some mods that if you're wondering why they're not in the video it's because I just can't get them to work so let's start then and with many of these mods they don't need a lot of explaining as they're armors and cosmetics so they're just mostly a showcase also I've left the best mod for last so make sure to check out number 10 Obi-Wan robes and Sith Lord robes as Obi-Wan's Jedi robes as a standalone clothing in Starfield, the robes come with skins that can be applied at the workbench and can be found in the Keeper Aquilus' office. The Sith Lord robes come with four items as well, outfit with top, one with the hooded robe, one with the hooded robe and arm cuffs, one with the hoodless robe and hoodless robe with arm cuffs. You also get the mask. You can get this from Manaki in Cydonia at the Trade Authority shop. All we need now for these mods is a lightsaber mod to be added to the game. Star Wars Alien Player. If you wanted to roleplay as a Star Wars character then you can with this mod. The mod adds to the character creator a bunch of stuff that lets you play as a Star Wars character. So Ahsoka, Darth Maul, Greedo, the Cantina band guys and loads more options for you to choose from with this mod so you can play as any of those characters. Ite Clothiers Plus. This mod adds a whole bunch of new clothing to the game sold at the store in New Atlantis. Comes with new outfits, belts, glasses, jackets, vests, necklaces, chokers, a beanie, mask and new cybernetic arms. It's a female clothing mod as well so while you can equip all these to males on any female characters you can choose to have the curvy female shape version or you can just keep things vanilla depends on what you prefer in game and I think it's a great mod to add more variety to the game and I would like to see some of these clothes added to the game's NPCs as well. The outfits I'm showcasing here are just one of hundreds of possible outfit combinations that you can use this mod for. Bosk and Trandoshan Mercs. The mod adds a new craftable spacesuit to the industrial workbench so that you can roleplay as Bosk, the Trandoshan bounty hunter from Star Wars. The mod also transforms all ecliptic members into Trandoshans, so if you go to the Red Mile for example, all the Mercs here will be Trandoshans from now on. The ecliptic mercenaries' raspy voices and snarling made them a perfect candidate to transform into the reptilian species, and that's exactly what this mod does. <sighs> Whatever you have to say, I don't give a shit. I'm on duty, so get the hell out of my face. Next we have Princess Leia's outfit, although it doesn't have all of them like her bikini one for example. This beloved movie princess finally made her way into Starfield with this mod. The lady knows how to fight and you get three different outfits to choose from, the adventurer, Hoth and Bush. The Adventurer outfit is a classic outfit that offers a little bit of protection as well as bonuses. You can find them under the apparel section. The Hoth outfit comes in two varieties. First is a classic apparel to wear under your spacesuit, but you can also craft it as a spacesuit if you prefer. The Bush outfit is a classic spacesuit. Leia wears it as a disguise in Jabba's palace in Return of the Jedi on her mission to rescue Han Solo. So you get the spacesuit, helmet and jetpack and everything in this mod is craftable at the workbench. Infiltrator 2. This adds a new standalone spacesuit outfit and weapons for both male and females to the game called Infiltrator 2, and I think it looks super cool, especially if you play a sneaking type playthrough. Comes with one outfit, one spacesuit, one sleeve tech, one sword, one shades, one gloves, one belt, three different belt items, two backpacks, four boost packs, seven helmets as clothing, six helmets as spacesuit items, and you can buy them all from the Trade Authority store in Sidonia, or you can craft them at any industrial workbench. Mm -hmm. 
Ecliptic Mercenary Armor Replacer. This replaces the Ecliptic spacesuit with something new. It comes with the outfit, six helmet variants, and one backpack. You can buy this from Coleman in Neon. The mod also comes as a standalone version if you'd prefer not to replace the existing Ecliptic spacesuit armor. But either way, I think the armor looks really cool and it kind of reminds me of something that would be in Star Wars as well, even though it's not. Robotics Outfit is a really cool armor mod that adds new stuff for both male and female characters. It adds outfits, robotic arms, helmets, goggles, and masks to the game. There are eight outfit varieties, six cybernetic arms, which are the coolest part of the mod, five goggles, two helmets, two backpacks, two vests, two masks, and one cigarette. You can get this from Emerson Shepherd in Aquila City, and like many other mods, you can also craft them at the industrial workbench. Starfield Extended New Outfits. The mod adds 49 new outfits that normal people with taste would wear. These outfits are craftable at the utility workbench and are distributed to vendors, NPCs, and loot by the level list, and they are simply mashups of vanilla meshes, working weight morphs, and no clipping. Our final mod then is my favourite one called the Star Wars Aliens. This is a super cool mod and one that will change the way Starfield feels. The mod adds several fully animated aliens from Star Wars to the various factions of Starfield. So the new alien faces have been added to the following factions level lists, meaning they should spawn naturally in different places. Spacers, Crimson Fleet, Freestar Collective, Soka Syndicate, Shaw Gang, generic crew members and just general crowds as well. So they will all now spawn as alien NPCs and one of the places where I noticed there was many of them was the well in New Atlantis. A super cool mod that adds something I would like to see more of in the base game with alien races, which we never got. Plus, if you want to make yourself an alien as well, you can craft any of the aliens as an outfit at the industrial workbench. So everyone, that is it for this video. 10 more mods for Starfield on Xbox and all are available on PC. I just really need to make a video solely for armors and Star Wars mods because they outnumber every other mod by quite a lot. So I felt like I needed to catch up on some of the mods I was missing in previous videos because I just couldn't add them all if I wanted to have some variety in the mod videos. Like always, like and comment about your favorite mods and I'll see you in the next one.